Artisans have been in South Maine for decades, but the story of one is so amazing, it takes a gallery to do it justice. Rainbow Studio was the original company, a stained glass studio, and I met Jack in 78, and when I was doing experiments and trying to make a photographic sandblast etching mask. And Jack heard about it, but anyway, he came down one day and introduced himself and gave me some darkroom tips. He didn't know what he really did, but he was from Clarksdale. So he worked for 20 years with you? Right at it, yeah. He went to the doctor, not feeling well one day, and the doctor drove him straight to the hospital. He had pancreatic cancer, so he was dead in 30 days. That's the first time I ever went to his apartment, was to you know, start to settle his estate. And that's when I found the photographs, I mean, 150,000 negatives. It was as though he really wanted them to be discovered. I was dumbfounded, because like I said I knew he was a professional photographer, that was not a secret. I just didn't know that he was a portrait photographer at Vogue. I didn't know he was the principal fashion photographer at the New York Times in the late 50s. I didn't know he had a Life Magazine fashion cover in 59. There was just tons of stuff I didn't know. You just didn't talk about it. But, you know, we talk about it today because we're, you know, daily, literally, answering requests from around the world for uh, his images. There are galleries all around South Maine and they all showcase amazing work. Come see for yourself why South Maine is Memphis's arts district.